What is going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you a very special way where you could find sneakers for very cheap. Now a lot of sneakerheads have completely abandoned eBay because of the amount of fakes that there are. They've gone to places like StockX and GOAT which is completely fine and in fact if you're a new sneakerhead I highly recommend sticking with StockX and GOAT until you get some education and learn a few things. However, for those sneakerheads who've been in the game for quite a while and they could spot a fake, they know how to search up on YouTube how to spot fakes or whatever, I'm going to show you exactly how and why you should go to eBay to get some steals. Just to illustrate my point, let me just show you. These are some of the things that I've been watching. Look at this, Pantone 11s, the bidding's only at 220 and there's five hours left, about six hours left. That means it'll probably get to around 260, maybe 270. In my opinion though, because these are VNDS, I legit check these, they look good to me. Always make sure you check for that feedback, make sure that's good. And then of course, just look at the pictures, make sure everything's good. I watched a ton of how to spot fake videos, so maybe this will be a cop for me. I'm not sure. Before I show you any of the other shoes though, I wanted to show you, this is how you snipe, okay? Because a lot of you guys already know this, but I wanted to make it clear for those of you who don't. Don't place a bid. Even if you see it's at 220 now and you're like, oh man, 220? I'll definitely pick those up. Only six hours left, let me place a bid. Don't do that. These 28 bids, maybe it's like 15 bidders or so, they don't know what they're doing. The real People who know what they're doing bid at the end. When there's two to three seconds left, what you're gonna wanna do is place a max bid. You don't wanna do, say, say it does end at 220. You don't wanna do 221, because someone else is already gonna do that. You wanna take a loss and just go 230. It's an extra 10 bucks, but that's still a steal. So you could go ahead and type in 230. Go to place bid. All right, it's loading. And then you don't press confirm until it says two seconds remaining or two to three seconds. And I guarantee you guys, if you guys do that, you'll get whatever you want the last second. I guarantee it. it. It really never seems to fail me. And I know a lot of people who personally who use this way and I highly suggest it. Anyway though, let me show you some of the other steals that I've been looking at. Look at these, Green Glow 4s. This might be a cop for me too, there's 19 hours left. These look like they're VNDS. They look like they're in incredible condition. I used to have these, I bought them for 20 bucks, size seven, I ended up flipping them for like 80 bucks. I haven't had them since I was 12 years old. <laughs> So I, I need a pair. So that might be a cop for me. A few of the other shoes I'm looking at, Cav 4s, only $60. If, if you ask me, that's not gonna go up much more. That'll probably get up to 65 to 70, plus the shipping. Guys, these are VNDS, like near dead stock Jordans for under $100. And they're not like GRs really. If you ask me, that is, that is a steal. Look at these, even on Soul Supremacy. Soul Supremacy, you don't even have to legit check. They're 100% legit and I guarantee that. These, these look like they're VNDS also. $57, now this is Soul Supremacy. I'm sure the bidding will go way higher. There's also two days left. I don't like buying from Soul Supremacy that much because it could get kind of pricey because of their good reputation. But you, you get my point. So essentially, you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. There are some steals on eBay. And you could also feel free to check out Kixify. It's the same deal. Make sure you look out for the good feedback, fakes, you know. Anyway, though, I wanted to show you exactly how I found those shoes that I put on my watch list. I'm going to show you like how I legit check them and essentially just how I find them. Now the first step, of course, is to look up the shoe you want. Personally, I would never 
never buy anything extremely hyped on here. Do not mess with Yeezys, Human Races, collabs like Supreme and Babe. In my opinion, eBay is not the place for that. So, let's say we're looking for Jordan 3, okay? We're going to be looking for a Jordan 3 black cement. That's a good one. First of all, what you would want to do is check the size that you like. I personally am a nine and a half. If I don't see any deals in a nine and a half and I really want the shoe, I'll also check 10 and if there's some deals in the 10, I might have to pick it up. For now though, we're just gonna go nine and a half. All right, what I like to do now, I like to sort it from lowest first. So let's look at this one. This is kind of a beater pair. That's where I started. I started off buying beaters. Looking at these right off the bat, they look like they may have been repainted. I'm not sure. They definitely look cracked. So yeah, this is this is a beater pair. He has the OG box. That's pretty cool. If you're wondering, this is what the box looks like. Yeah, the, these are beaters, but for the price, $36 right now. It's got one day and eight hours. I'd say this will get to around $60 plus shipping. If that's a good deal for you, pick them up. Maybe it's a restoration project or whatever. Now this shoe wouldn't be something that's like full of fakes. Some easy ways to tell though on the threes. First way I would check is the tongue. Unfortunately, they don't have any real pics of the tongue. Next, this is the 2008 pair. This is the CDP one as you, as you see. The elephant print on these is actually a lot darker, so you'll be able to see. I'll compare it to a 2011 one. And you'll notice that this elephant print is actually a lot lighter compared to the CDP3. I don't know if you could tell the difference there, but I definitely could. In addition to checking for that, if you could see right under the laces, there's those little lines on the fake pairs. They're not clean. They're, they're really messed up. Sometimes you'll see three stitch lines. That's something to check out for. You also want to make sure the leather's nice and tumbled. I've seen some really bad fakes that they just look awful. They're not tumbled at all. It's some really crappy leather. And really, in my opinion, it's easy to spot fakes for threes. Of course, though, to be extra safe because you can never be too cautious. I would watch a few videos on how to spot fakes on threes. Really go in depth. Then I would ask him for a picture of the tongue because a lot of fakes don't really get it right on the tongue. It's usually jagged. It should be somewhat smooth and the leather should look nice and plush. Anyway though, essentially that's how you would find what you're looking for. So I already showed you how you could bid on the shoes and how you could snipe them and essentially get them every time. But what if, what if it's a buy now and what if you have a chance to offer? This, these are one of my favorites because this is your opportunity to show off your skills on how to negotiate. Now. In my opinion, I like the buy now feature. I like when you could offer. Cause I like to message the, the guy and I like to say to him, hey, I see you want $200 for these. My opinion, I think the soul's kind of beat. You also don't have the OG box. So how about we do 150? And he'll say, 150? Nah, I can't do that. I need at least 180 plus shipping. So I'll say something like 170 shipped and you got a deal. And he'll say something like, 175 that's it and I'll say no and I'll sleep on it and then he'll come back and I'll end up saving that five dollars the key is being patient you have to be stubborn because I know 
that maybe I only saved that extra five dollars. Well, in the end, it was like it was thirty dollars, but you would have saved that extra five dollars. What if you do this twenty times? That's a hundred dollars you just saved by being stubborn. I know it. It's hard to be stubborn and to take your time because sometimes you really want that shoe. You really want it. It starts to consume you, but you have to say no. You have to be the boss. When you see those Pantone 11s, someone's asking 300 for them, and you say, I really need those. You just have to wait. You have to be patient. You have to be the one in the control. You can't let him say, I need 300 and that's firm. You have to say, man, all I got is 270 and that's the highest that could go. He'll say no, but in a few weeks, he'll, he'll say yeah. Now I'm going to put up on the screen a conversation I had with another guy. Essentially, basically, we were talking about uh, Fire Red 3s, I believe. So I messaged him because I, I, I wanted the shoes. I liked them. And I said, hey, I'll do $45 right now. He didn't even try to negotiate. He said, yeah, that's a deal. Unfortunately, though, he said he didn't realize that there was, I wanted free shipping. So he said we need to at least meet in the middle. So I figured it's probably $12, $13 to ship. So I said, all right, about half of that, five bucks. I said 50 bucks, and that's as high as I'll go. He called it a deal. I got Fire Red 3s, uh, pretty good condition, I'd say. 50 bucks. A pair of Jordan Retros that are in good condition for 50 bucks? You can't go wrong there, guys. Just negotiate, be patient, watch out for the fakes. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I read something online that said if you tell new people to subscribe, they'll actually subscribe. My opinion, I, I don't really think that works, but you know, we'll give it a shot. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.